Hi, I'm Corey Allily. We're going to be switching over a combine between different crops today. Starting at the feeder house drum, they recommend it up for corn and down for beans. Um, probably just leave it up unless you have any feeding issues and then you lower down to bring that crop in. Then they also recommend that you use a larger sprocket for uh, beans, speed it up, push it through. From there we're going to move over to our feed accelerator. Normally you want it for slow for corn and and speed it up for beans. As the season progresses and the beans get drier, you probably wanna leave it on the slow side, that way you prevent any cracking. Next, we're gonna move on to the cob deflector door. Um, very important uh, to prevent damage to your chaffer and sieve. Um, so on, for corn, you'd wanna lower it down so the chopper doesn't kick those cobs back and damage all that. But on the flip side, you also wanna make sure it is up when you're harvesting beans, otherwise you'll slug the back end. We're moving on to the trap spreader. This is a power cast tailboard. Um, one important thing here is these plates down here, they've got four bolts that hold them on. For beans, you can take both of these out and put them in the storage area. That spreads a lot nicer. But make sure you put them back on for corn. All right, now we're going to adjust our chopper speed. That's done behind this shield on the pulley here there's a T handle all the way in is for corn all the way out is for beans and the center is neutral next we're going to adjust the rotor gear case speed and that's done with this handle underneath the, this big shiv right here um, all the way in is first gear it's slow then it goes to neutral and all the way out is second gear normally we'd run uh, second gear for beans so we're going to end up here, we just want to make sure that um, this side matches the other side as far as the feeder house drum position. And it's also a good idea to make sure and check all your traps, make sure they're closed.